Elizabeth Dowell is English. Uh, she was born in 1951 in London. She's become probably the world's most important painter of pears. Her pear, Stark Crimson, uh, she painted in 1996 and I bought it in that year. She came to my house and spread probably a dozen pear paintings um, around the room. And I found it very difficult to choose which one, but I bought, bought two. One was this one and the other one was a conference pair, which is probably one of the most famous ones. Of course, the pears are born on trees and she has shown here quite a complicated history. Here are the flowers here, springtime. Then she had to go back and find the tree again and do this, which is of course the fruit. And then she always showed the fruit fully ripe and cut in half or quarter so that you could see what the inside looked like. So you've got really a great deal in this painting, not just a great deal of, to look at, but actually it means that if you paint a fruit in such detail, you have to go back several times. She painted a large number of pears and did a big book on pears. It's just horrifying to think of how committed she was. Um, because, of course, all these bits take the same amount of time as you might on a completed painting. And she'd probably have several paintings going on the go the same year for particular kinds of fruit. And then it can be very irritating because sometimes a, f a tree won't fruit. And I had one tree in my garden which simply would not uh, grow cones. And for three years, there were no cones. So sometimes you get very poor number of, of pears on a tree. Other times you get so many that the branches break. But this is a, a wonderful tree and rather unusual color of the pears. Talking about fruit and how much you get um, each year. My son, Simon, has in his garden a very prolific quince tree. But when it first flowered and produced fruit, it was very few. But this year, an enormous number, 160 quince. And they were big, fat quince. Um, and he made them all into a jelly or jam and he's very pleased with himself and very popular with all our friends who got the occasional uh, pot 